Yes, sir. Give it to me. Pause. I won't let the world fall down and run a mile. Messed up there, but don't worry about it. In like September, what you gonna do? Go 5-0. Thought that you knew I'm a psycho. C O D D B D. Death my Dobby. I know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I said that he fast. Abs. Had to hit y'all with a new artist. I've been on him for a while, but in case you ain't been on him, now you know to get on him, dog. Daddy Fast Snaps, DPS, look him up on YouTube. He drops bangers every other week. Why not pause this, bro? Let me go off a little bit more. No, I know. That's I know. So no. flames everywhere I go. Have mercy, yeah, bro. I know. Who better than me than the rest of them? This hand of my hot man is worse than Got the wound of the fire that nestle with them. I'm the best. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Let me stop, bro, because I'm going to just keep going. If I don't stop now, I'm going to just keep going. So we going to put a pause on that. I might keep playing that song once I finish this recording, but that's for later, not now. <laughs> kind of worked up a sweat there, dog. I was getting into it. You ain't see the moves on this side, bro, but, you know, I, I had a few. I usually don't do that if there's no, like, cover page or anything. I don't come up with, like, an intro. I usually just get right into the chapter, but I remembered that song, so I had to turn it on. Also, speaking of there being no cover page, is there, like, a reason why there isn't one? Maybe Hero just didn't want to draw one for this week? I wouldn't know. I ain't got that kind of intel, and I imagine nobody else other than Hero does. Maybe he's like managers or editors or whatever. But let's dive into this chapter, why don't we? Chapter 157, and I'd say the title of the chapter, but I don't know that either. But you know what I do know? I know that I'm hoping for this chapter to focus in on the Ziggy, Jaguar, and Nero fight. That all-out battle that's going on. I was gonna say three-way, but whoa, no sir, <laughs> no sir. But to get back on topic, bro, I wanna focus in on that. I don't wanna cut back to what's going on with the Nero 66 and the main crew. I mean, I, I care about what's going on over there, right? But I'm just a lot more curious with what's going on with Ziggy and that fight. But let's get into this. As I already said, but you know, I, I had to bring up something else, but whatever. The Interstellar Union Army sent a detached force to the temple? Oh, they're just learning about this, uh, this now. I wonder how they're gonna take it. I imagine not too well, <laughs> actually. I'd imagine if they knew what Jaguar's, like, true intentions were, the reason why he went to the temple instead of Nero 66, they'd, uh, take this news even worse. Because even though, you know, what Jaguar is doing is, like, a good thing, he's stopping, like, a tyrannical emperor, um, he's not taking him down because he is a tyrannical emperor. He's taking him down because he wants to hunt him. Or, because, you know, he's a Jaguar. For real? So the government decided to storm the Empire's main turf. Maybe Goodwin won't be too happy about this because he wanted to take down Nero himself. And just having, like, a government official take him down isn't as good or satisfying or whatever? I don't know. Nah. Nah. Why y'all gotta be like this? Why y'all gotta be like this? Goodwin the only one who not smiling and who's not happy. I don't know what the, the particular reason for that is. Maybe, again, like I said, he wanted to take down Nero himself, and that's the reason why he's not so happy. But, bro, I'm not smiling either, and it's not because of that. It's because y'all are talking about how oh, the Empire's gonna be defeated, and that just guarantees that they're not going to be because like th this is just this is play by play the vampire about to strike back you know boss princess are you watching this now if we immediately cut to ijuni in this chapter bro then it's basically confirmed that she is the princess <laughs> chapter 157 the red string of destiny Ooh! yo th this go kind of hard bro first uh glad to see you're both awake but secondly y'all strapped <laughs> okay i fuck with this i fuck with this heavy let's go fight let's go win i thought the both of you would be down for the count for basically this entire arc which made me think that there was an even greater risk of which dying but uh, now that they're about to join in i guess that greater risk has now come down a bit i just like the fact that they're strapped up bro, ready to fight uh, look at ivory 
<laughs> Santa Claus ass outfit, dog. Oh my gosh, bro. Couch Po is like the master of blue balls, dude. Shut up. If you make these two stay here, I will immediately regret my decision of putting you in B tier on that tier list. If you don't know, as of recent, I made an Eden Zero tier list, an updated one for characters. Go check it out. It'll be uh, linked in the comments. Probably. I don't know. But like I was saying in that video, I put her in B tier. But if she stops Hermit and Ivory from joining in on this battle, she's a D tier character. Ugh! They said get the hell out the way! Let's go! We're going to rescue Witch. And while we're at it, I'll shove sure. Oh! <laughs> Dude, I'm. Bro. Hell yeah, I wanna see Sister Ivory kick some ass. Sure is ass too. Fuck off. Oh my gosh, please. Please don't let this stop y'all. Couch Po, you are trash. And she was originally like, what, y'all fit to leave me a non-combatant here with the ship? And now she's saying, no, don't don't, don't stay here uh, for, for me. Stay here for the ship. So we can be able to leave here in one piece. <laughs> you are a coward, dog. No, no, no. Somebody hit the mute button on Couch Po. I'm sick and tired of hearing her talk. Don't nobody care about no ship. We'll get a new one. Sure, I got plenty. And we'll repair this one, too. Bro, we have Weiss. If the ship gets damaged, he can just fix it. Fuck out of here. Your point invalid. The hell? Are these, like, the the type of lasers that, like, trigger the alarm system? Or the type of lasers that cut you in half? I'm guessing the type of lasers that cut you in half. But it's not like this is even a problem. Shiki, just put your hand on the wall, use some gravity, and just destroy where the lasers are coming out of. Oh, oh, it's string. So this is a Juni. All right. No! <laughs> I know where their powers are, so it's like, I know what's about to happen next. I didn't want this for these two. I wanted it for, for Shiki and Hamra. That would have been way cleaner. I'm still waiting on the Shiki and Hamra fight. This would have been the perfect time to make it happen. But no. Now we go get some lovey-dovey Shika. I don't give a damn. I'll tell you what, though, boy. Better these two than Creed and Hamra. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, if if Ijuni if was doing this to Creed and Hamra, I'd drop Eden Zero. <laughs> That's on me right there. It's side Rebecca and Shiki together. Yeah. Analyzing, it is a red string composed of ether. Its durability is not high. It can be broken with physical force. Yeah. You don't really want that, though. If that happens, Shiki about to beat ass. <laughs> and right now, he about to collapse. <laughs> I feel strange. My heart's racing. I wonder, since Hero's gotten uh, like in the habit of switching around to the original Ocean 6's powers, I'm wondering if he's going to keep Ijunis the same, so uh, it's like any two people that grab onto the string and they're like connected, then start loving each other, or if he's going to change it to where like, if you grab onto the string the first time, your true feelings towards each other are revealed. So like for example, at the end of this, Ajuni would say, oh no, I didn't make y'all fall in love. Those were your true feelings towards each other. But who knows, let's see. Now is not the time to get all hot and heavy for each other. That's rich coming from you, Moscow. I will never forget what you were doing with Ichia. That's burned into my memory. Cause I don't think you gotta uh, I don't think you got a place to talk here, bro. Also, it's like not their fault. Whoa! It's getting hot and steamy in here, dog. Shiki, just go ahead and do it. You know you kind of want to anyways. I'm not really like a big fan of this ship. I'm not a hater of it either, but hey, bro, if you want to do it, go ahead and do it. Suit yourself. She want to do it too. I... I can't hold back any longer. Bro, what's with everybody cock blocking today? What's going on? Happy you trash. Wherever you were on my tier list, bro, you get bumped down a tier two. You might be, what was he in B? I think you're C tier now. You ain't helping nobody. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. A headbutt from Shiki should put her on her ass. Damn! <laughs> what do you think you're doing, Shiki? This is all your fault. Ooh, he pissed. You better watch out, though, before Shiki grab you by the tail and use you as a mace. He finna beat 
her with you. From love to hate, the red string of destiny cultivates love in the heart. When the string breaks, that love changes to loathing. Why is this fight even? Why is it close at all? I'm not saying that I want him to like destroy her, bro, but I'm getting a little bit pissed because th this ain't even close to reality. He should be washing her right now. Did that is the power of my ether gear, red destiny. They won't stop until one of them is dead. The enemy, they won't stop until they die. Don't let fear weigh on you. Just knock out the ether user. Usually that breaks the spell. Originally, when these characters were selected to be the ocean, six bro i was a little bit worried for the crew because they all seem to have op abilities but i'm always reminded that their hacks aren't that much of a threat when pino is around speaking of which pino uh emp get the fuck out out of here. He just fitting to get embarrassed again. Who that Buddha? He not finna help you. He just here to watch. He like, bro, this dude finna get his ass whooped again. Let me get a front row seat. Okay. Uh, what's, what's going on, dog? This look like he about to get hogtied or something. I don't want to see that. Bro, why are we focusing on this when we have literally on a different planet, Nero, Jaguar, and Ziggy about to fight. This is not the chapter you show after you introduce something like that. Just EMP. I feel no tension. Just EMP. Stop it! They're acting against their will, so their hearts are crying. Your friends, your crew, why hurt each other? If you keep doing this, you'll both- Oh! <laughs> Let's go! Okay, okay! I don't know how the hell you're here. I don't know how you found them at all, but all right. Also, now that Laguna's here, that kind of 100% confirms that Ijuni is the so-called princess. He's storing him in the thermos for later. Shout out to anyone who got that reference. If you got that, bro, I wish I could shake your hand in real life. You a goat. I'm not just hyped that Laguna's here, bro. I'm, I'm hyped for the fit, Loki. Loki. It's high boy band energy right here. Anyone who cries in front of me will be changed to water. It can come in handy sometimes. Ugh, this is the first time it's ever come in handy for the benefit of the crew, dog. What you talking about? Let me handle this. Shiki and Rebecca are in the water bottle. Wait a while, then let them out. I am so glad Laguna stepped in and turned them into water because for a moment there, I was worried that this shit was about to be beat with the power of friendship. <laughs> Go on. Aren't you here to rescue Witch? Yes, thank you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> As if it wasn't obvious enough, dog. Golly. Princess, is that you? Don't call me that. I abandoned Oasis just like you did. And that's the, the end of the chapter, I guess. You know, thinking about it now, it's cool that Laguna's here, but, like, what is Ijuni gonna do against Laguna? She only has that one power. Uh, Laguna got, like, abilities out the ass. I guess Hero could give her, like, another ability, but that doesn't make me any more hyped for this fight, and I'll tell you why. Because if he gives her another ability, I know how it's all going to end. Laguna's gonna get washed for a bit, and then... Bada bing, bada boom, bada bow, overdrive, and then he wins. Also, the fact that Pino just didn't use EMP to beat this whole shit is a massive plot hole. Like, th this shouldn't have been a problem whatsoever. Laguna didn't need to step in. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Yeah!